guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Libra. So guys, if you're a Libra, or if you've got it in your chart somewhere, if you were just drawn to this message, it may be for you, but do keep in mind it's general, and I can't possibly hit everyone's situation. So take what you feel is for you, what resonates on a soul level, and disregard or toss the rest, my friends. Don't dwell on it and go about your days. But know that no matter what messages Spirit has to offer today, no matter what the cards say, it's still up to you and your active free will, your grassroots evolution, the choices you make in the steps you take to get whatever fulfillment it is in this world that you would like to see and how you integrate this message so guys keep an open mind a positive heart and always remember to use whatever empowered vulnerability that you have to take steps forward in this world to create the life that you'd like to see so i'm going to take a moment just before i get going to ask Archangel Michael to jump in, to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, as well as to use me as the clearest channel, deliver messages only for the highest good of those of you watching, as well as, you know, um, that's what I get. So for any of you who would like your angels or guides in your life, just ask that they're here for your highest good. Again, delivering you the messages that are going to benefit you the most, as well as delivering it in a clear form, so in the clearest form possible for you to understand. I'm going to start off today with a postcard from Spirit. So this is the postcard from Spirit Oracle by Colette Baron reed So we get two messages. Um, what I would say is, for these messages, we may be picking up on a situation from now, something that you'll encounter in March, something that's in a past life, or something that is just in your past. So keep an open mind on how these resonate for you. And know that this reading may, again, be picking up on a, many different situations, and time is fluid. So even if you encounter this after March, after 2020, it still may resonate. Don't hold on so tightly to that um, earthly notion of time. That's one of the things I'm hearing as well. So you got two. The first one here says holiday treasure and you have two people, um, if you look at this, two people kind of working through looking at this mandala and I feel like working together as well as this almost seems like um, cycles of time and the turn of the wheel here. So I'm going to take the listen. If I am, if I invoke any emotions with you, if there's anything that triggered you, why was it here, and how can you use this in your conscious awareness again to take steps forward to change your world? So let's see what they have to say. I'm just going to move you back a bit. It's driving me nuts. There we go. Dear you, since you're on Earth, you understand how buildings are built, yeah? A good, solid foundation, and yet flexibility too. In case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it's built from a solid base, whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time, or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug, poured, and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly, as well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect, sound foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come visit. We are so happy for you and so intrigued by whatever you are building. So guys, if you are taking forward movement and building your life, building your career, building your relationship, building something solid, take heed here, spirits noticed. And if you are working on something, make sure that, again, like that house, that it's it's built properly, it's built secure, so that when the wind or the earthquake come, if heavy rains come, it's not just going to crumble down to the ground. Thinking about the three little pigs. Build that house out of bricks, my friends, not out of straw or sticks. And then we get the hummingbird. And for as well, what I heard for here, this could be lost loved ones as well. You may be receiving signs as well from loved ones um, or even ancestors, so really paying attention to that as well. So the other message that I have here is, we have the hummingbird, right? It says, with love. Dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days. Giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good can leave you feeling depleted like an empty well. If it feels as if there's no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers or plant some in your garden. If you can't get into your garden yet, plant some in a flower pot, have it around your house. Make some time for self-care. Not more work on yourself, but 
By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but essential for your well-being now. No. Say no. Say it with us. No. No, thank you. No, I can't. You don't have to explain. Just say no gently but firmly, then go for a soak. Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center, replenished and ready for more adventures. We love you so much. And this is so important in our own lives. Whatever we do, keeping ourselves stable too. Keeping our own foundations firm as well. Because when we do things and we, we get so busy with our life around us and we don't take time for self-care, this could be, again, enough sleep, getting to bed early, going for a walk. Not so much at picking yourself apart and seeing where you need improvement, but just places where you're going to love yourself and you're going to give your body, this earthly body, or your mind, the, the rest that it desires, the needs that it has being met and honestly taking a nice hot bath and shower you're really relaxed afterwards so it's easier for you to also focus on what you need to focus on when it's time to focus it because you're not depleting your energy I think this is really really important as well for our own mental health to ensure that whatever it is for us in a day take an hour out of your day to do something that will give you joy that will bring bring you pleasure bling but that will help you feel stable and solid in your core and in your foundation and know that whatever you build, it's coming from a very strong, firm foundation and firmly grounded you and very aware as well as your own um, hurt self-confidence as well. Check the time here. Okay. I'm going to ask one more message from this, please, before I move on. One more card. There's two there. I'm going to put this one back and I'm going to take the dragonfly. Okay? So, dearest you, there are times when loss is a part of life. Sometimes the loss is welcome, like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest good. Sometimes the loss is sudden and painful, like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension. Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary, as is grief. When you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly, the unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways. We don't want that for you. Instead, let your heart break wide open. Feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was, the lessons learned, and know that as you let go of what is past, ever more of you remains. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all. We are loving you, sending you love always and forever. Especially if you've experienced loss, guys, if that part resonated, um, as well as if you have, if you, if you were touched with this hummingbird, I felt it was a lost loved one. If that has been something for you, if you felt lost, remember as well, like this card says, to take it and to grieve and to really allow the process of grieving, of letting go, of, you know, um, whatever it is, regardless if it's a loved one, relationship, job, really feel it out so that you're not stuck in denial and stagnation because then, as well, you're going to build, rebuild firm foundations. So take care of yourself. Do the things that you know you need to do that's going to bring you peace because the world doesn't stop because there's a loss. You know, regardless of what kind of loss this is, it keeps on spinning whether we want it to or not. So take care of you. Do the things that keep you square, keep you squared up. Not square, but keep you feeling like your needs are met and that you're in a stable position mentally as well as physically. And emotionally as well, you're going to find your, your world changes in pretty miraculous ways the more we take time to really acknowledge that we do have needs especially if you're a parent or a caregiver if you're constantly giving love and attention outwards there are times where it is so so necessary to give it to you as well so i'm going to ask a message here from the magical unicorns oracle and see what spirit also would like us to know here for the sign of virgo for march 2020 let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out. Great breathing exercise. They want me to take this one too, which is very soon. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. So, twofold. 
letting go of the stress in terms of the how and why something is going to work, something is going to happen. Removing stress from a situation that if there has been loss and pain. Taking those times to really, um, what you can do is even breathe in gratitude. Excuse me, guys. Breathing in gratitude gratitude oh my gosh breathing in gratitude and allowing anything that is inauthentic to you and your energy signature as you breathe out asking it to transmute with love into the world and releasing it as well as to let go of stress you may want to get your body moving physically go swimming go for a walk go for a hike get some exercise you know play with your kids engage in playful acts you could want to ride a unicorn or horseback riding if you don't have a unicorn but you know, just doing something to just let out all of the stuff that is not helping, okay? Because when we get really bogged down with stress and stress and stress, we don't see things clearly. And it's harder for us to move forward the ways that we need to because we're clinging so tightly to these feelings of stress as well as it has a negative impact on our body physically, physiologically our bodies don't like stress and you could actually be as well maintaining and keeping extra weight on if you have trouble with weight because of stress hormones so that as well as this is saying you know whatever's going on in your world you want to build from a firm solid foundation and take the time that's necessary to keep you feeling good fuel your body with good food get some rest make sure that you feel relaxed as well throughout your day and know that whatever you're trying to manifest the answer comes in magical ways it's very soon and it's almost like you know there's times where um things like if you're wanting to get pregnant or if you're wanting to hear and talk to someone if you're waiting for an opportunity to come these kinds of things happen when we stop um pursuing them okay they they happen when we're living our best life and we're doing things for ourselves and kind of shining and radiating this magicalness with the unicorn, right? Radiating and being our magical self. That's when these miracles can happen. And as well, just a side note, if there's any of you wanting with this building a solid foundation, if there's any of you guys wanting to build a family and it's not happening, make sure to take that time for you. Have the bath, relax, read the books, because the better you are on this physical world, like detox, um, but the, the healthier you are now as well, and the more relaxed you are, the, the easier it is to, to sort of be like, whoa, hey, guess what, we're gonna have a baby, that kind of stuff, okay? But as well as, it's almost like the law of attraction. When we're constantly chasing, chasing, chasing something and we're feeling like we're putting all of our energy to get something that is outside of us, it's telling ourself here that we're in lack and we don't have enough. So nourish what you got, my friends. Take care of you. Take one more card. Try something new is the card that came out. And you have um, an orca or killer whale with the unicorn. You'll only know what you can do. Okay, you'll only know that you can do something if you try, right? So you're only going to, if there are things in your world that maybe seem a little bit daunting or scary, maybe you're like, I don't really have time to make time for self-care, or I don't think that I'm really going to be able to build this solid foundation, you will not know unless you try. So my friends, try. What's the worst that happens? It doesn't work out and you learn a lesson so that the next time you can try harder and try again. The only thing as well, um, if we never try, we never succeed. And failure is only failure if we don't learn from it. So learning from our mistakes, taking time to care for us. If there's been loss or grievances, trying not to focus so much on that. And I am I had picked up on a little bit of if you've been experiencing pregnancy, um, loss. I apologize. I'm sorry. You know, hopefully this doesn't trigger you. But knowing as well that the message I'm getting right now, and I do want to share it, and I firmly, firmly believe, and some of you may disagree with me, but I believe that the souls that we have, and I believe that when we are meant to meet our children, they chose us. They chose the time, and it doesn't mean they won't come back around. So let go of the stress. Um, if if that has been a loss, if there's been issues with loss or your your loved ones, just know that you can also speak to their spirit as well. But know that 
you know, energy is never really destroyed, right? It doesn't, it, and it, if nothing else, it lives in our heart. So I'm going to move on to some tarot wisdom. Again, that message may not have been for everyone. It may just have been for a few people or one person in particular. But um, if it does resonate, take it how it is and, you know, focus on you. Get yourself in a place that, you know, you're happy with you as you are. And I get the Five of Pentacles, which could be feeling out in the cold, feeling loss, feeling um, not worthy, not good enough. You get the sun, which is success, right? Very soon, success is happening here. If there is an endeavor you have been plotting and trying to get to, but have felt like outside of it, success is here. We also have the strength card here as well, that it, it this process is almost you building, strength building and endurance as well, that through all of hardships that you may have encountered, try something new, right? Try a different way if things aren't working, but success is here, and this is a yes card as well for any of you interested. But I'm gonna ask one last message, please, Spirit. Tell me about the sun. Thank you. And we get the five of wands, and this is, again, trying something differently for me, because if you look, all the foxes are going this way, and they're all going after one rabbit and the dude here he's gonna go the other way so diversion as well but sometimes strength comes from knowing when to fight when not to fight when to back down and when to focus on you and build your solid foundations and what you need in your worlds that's what I have for you guys I hope that you have a really great month and I love you all and I'll see you later bye guys